I can bet that a lot of people's worst fear is dying in a stupid way and having it engraved into their headstone. <clears throat> so here is a list of 10 people who died in some of the stupidest ways imaginable. Planking to death. On May 5th, 2011, a 20-year-old man in Brisbane, Australia decided that it was a good and swell idea to plank on a seven-story building. When he set himself on the railing, he attempted to take a photograph of himself. And can you guess what happened next? Did he get off the rail and decide that he wanted to live another day? Nope. He lost his balance and fell straight to his death. Like, can you believe it? One absolutely stupid idea led to a man unintentionally falling off a building. His mom raised a man for 20 years, avoiding crashes, healing him from sickness, and preparing him for life, just for both of them to lose to his internal thoughts. The Motorcycle Helmet Protest This is a pretty famous story, so it will be a quick one. On July 2011, in New York City, of course, bikers were staging a protest against helmet laws. You know, that thing your mom always tells you to wear when riding out with friends. Anyway, the biker thought it was a great time to pop a wheelie and totally flip his motorcycle, where he landed on his head and it was Thanos snapped out of existence. Imagine protesting something that would have saved your life. Idiot. Man in a wheelchair versus elevator door. Now I have a family member that is in a wheelchair, and I can't imagine him dying like this. A man in Daejeon, South Korea died on August 25th, 2010. A handicapped man repeatedly rammed into an elevator door because it just wouldn't open, and three times a charm because he got his wish right then and there when the elevator door broke open and he wheelied his way straight to the afterlife. Want a quickie? Because this couple sure did, especially in July 2011 in Brazil, where a man and a woman thought it was a great time to get freaky. Forget that they could have driven to a place that has a lot less crashes, I don't know, like a hotel, motel, or their house. Nah, not them. They decided to get it on right there and then, on the side of the freeway of course. Sadly for them, they didn't get to finish playing, because the only thing that busted was their car, when a cargo truck rammed into them, killing both of them instantly. Seat swapping. In Kentucky, two friends were driving in a car when both of them suddenly felt like action movie characters and wanted to swap seats. And since the car had an open T top, one of the friends stood up in the car. Yes, in the car, and tried to proceed with the swap. Unluckily for them, they kicked the wheel, turning the car where they made like a jacket and zipped their way onto the asphalt. But their friend was able to recover from the turn and regain control of the car. Sadly, the same cannot be said about the other friend. Do a barrel roll. In Washington, two bros were doing bro things like working in a machine shop, probably popping open a few brewskis and putting a 55 gallon barrel in the parking lot where they poured four gallons of methanol into the barrel and sat on top of it. You know, casual bro stuff. When they lit it, they thought it would skid across the parking lot like a rocket, or a rock on water. Okay, even if it did do that, did they also think it would park itself miraculously? Anyway, to their surprise, it blew up, where the barrel was found 120 feet away, and two men were found in the hospital, where one of them tragically lost their lives. Wife throwing. <laughs> Okay. In 1998, a married couple was having a small argument. The argument was so small that the man picked up his wife and Tom braided her out of the apartment balcony. Thankfully, the wife got caught on some power lines. Now, I don't know how credible that is, so go check out the link in the, in the description. Anyway, the next move that he had in mind was to jump off the balcony towards his wife. Now there are two options here. He either realized that he hucked his significant other out of a tall building and planned to somehow save her, or he was mad that she lived and wanted to give her the craziest WWE flying elbow in the history of mankind. How about this? Let's ask him. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys? That he completely missed the lines and slapped against the ground like cheese to a bald man's head? Meanwhile, his wife was able to swing herself over to another balcony and was saved. Why do women live longer than men? A Polish farmer was drinking with some of his friends in 1995. You could say that they had a little too much to drink, getting naked and suggesting to play some manly games. One of the games was hitting each other over the head with a frozen turnip. Okay, 
they must have been hitting each other pretty damn hard because the next game was who could divorce the most important limb with a chainsaw the fastest. One friend sawed off the end of their foot, but Azinski headed straight toward victory, where his head got a restraining order on his body. Like, how did a friend group of fully grown men allow this to happen? I don't know the science behind this. A chemistry student of Kiev Polytechnic Institute had a strange habit of dipping his gum into citric acid crystals while he did his work. While he was in his parents' house, he dunked his gum into something that was, you know, definitely not citric acid, then put it back into his mouth, where his mind was absolutely blown. Literally, because he was later found with the lower part of his face being blown off, where police found packets of citric acid and packets of the same weird explosive material. Don't bite your tongue. Heinz Streininger, oh, that's a close one, from Austria, was pretty famous for two things, having the world's longest beard, where it was four feet and seven inches long, and the second thing he was famous for was dying due to his beard, where in 1567, there was a fire in Hanstown, and from his haste, he forgot to roll up his beard, and accidentally stepped on his beard, losing his balance, falling and biting his tongue, which later became infected with gangrene, resulting in his his ultimate death. Now, I got most of these from a website down below, so if it was wrong, oh well, but I didn't make this video so that we could laugh at the dead and try to fill up our empty hearts. No, 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 no. I made this video to tell you guys that death can happen at any time. Though I did laugh at some of these stories, I hope that you guys stay safe and care for those around you. And if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another episode.